virus is ready for takeoff, a cat gets its own kitty classification, robots are rolling onto the farm scene, and a little hurricane prevention on the daily orbit. Hello and welcome to the Daily Orbit, I'm Emerald Robinson. Iris is ready for takeoff. NASA's new mission aimed to provide more information about our sun launches tomorrow from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Iris will ride aboard Orbital's Pegasus XL rocket into the sky and launch from there, keeping costs down. We talked about the Iris mission and its goals not long ago, but to recap, Iris will use an ultraviolet telescope to obtain spectra and high resolution images every few seconds. It will be looking at an area located between the sun's visible surface and upper atmosphere called the interface region, where most of the sun's ultraviolet emission is generated. So long, Iris, and Godspeed. Okay, cat lovers, you will find this one interesting. The poodle-haired cat finally has its day. Officially known as the Selkirk Rex, which sounds more like a dinosaur to me, <laughs> it has now been recognized as its own breed. Characterized by its long curly hair, the breed traces its roots back to the offspring of a Persian male cat and a curly-haired female cat that bred in Montana in 1987. A complete genetic analysis has proved that Selkirk Rex is indeed its own unique breed. So show off those curls, kitty. Previously, we featured a cat-inspired robot, and now it's hamsters lending robotic inspiration. And who will benefit? Farmers. The spherical-shaped robot works kind of like a hamster wheel rolling over itself. Called Rosphere, it can travel on dirt and sand. It can move backwards and forwards and is not thwarted by difficult terrain. Scientists hope it will be used to travel across fields to monitor conditions and tell farmers when to water or tend crops with its wireless communication system and sensors. As it rolls along the field, it will report on moisture levels and temperature. And with that, let's roll on to the next story. So, your math skills not the best. How would you feel if I told you a plant was better at math than you? Okay, maybe they're not necessarily better, but some plants use basic math to survive without sunlight for photosynthesis. At night, plants consume starch, which is made from carbon dioxide and sunlight during the day. Researchers found that plants use basic math to regulate how quickly they use up the starch at night, taking into consideration the amount available and the time until the sun rises. And when scientists artificially change light conditions, the plants adapted. Scientists say this mechanism could also be present in other organisms that store nutrients ahead of extended periods without sustenance. Those plants are probably better at math than 95% of us humans. Excuse me, just doing a little hurricane prevention. A new study says that aerosols help to reduce hurricane activity in the 20th century. It's not just what you spray out of a can. Aerosols are airborne particles that include dust and air pollution like smog and smoke. Scientists say aerosols make clouds brighter, causing them to reflect more energy back from the sun into space, impacting ocean temperatures and tropical circulation patterns, and making them less favorable for hurricanes. But the introduction of the Clean Air Act in the 1980s reduced concentrations of man-made aerosols, which is a good thing, right? Well, yes, for the most part, but it has helped to increase hurricane activity. But overall, reduction of aerosols proved beneficial for human health. Scientists say the number of Atlantic hurricanes over the next couple of decades will depend on future aerosol emissions. Just in case. And that's all for the Daily Orbit. <laughs>